Hello, this is the first part of our tutorial about how to make a Blender first person shooter online multiplayer game. In this part we will cover the basic setup for a first person shooter. We are going to show and teach you how to make your character walk and look around using keyboard and mouse. Keep in mind we will do this quite fast, so we advise you to pause the video at every step. First we start off by pressing Ctrl X and start a new empty project. We delete the standard cube and the camera. Um, now let's make ourselves a character. We're not that keen at the static so cylinder will have to do the job for now. Take 8 vertices. You can make this higher if you like. We make the body 1.5 units high and 0.5 units wide for realism. And the head will come on top of that. To make things easier we took a grid as the floor. At the base of the body we add an empty, which will serve as a sensor which checks whether or not there is contact with the floor. We name the body player and the empty contact, all small caps. The cube, which will serve as our lovely character's head, let's call him Bob from now on. Something with a head deserves to have a name. We put Bob's head on 1.7 units high, again do not screw reality. We parent the head and the contact to the player. We forgot that last bit here, but later on you will see that we saw that mistake and corrected it. Now let's give Bob something to walk on. We had a plane 20 by 20 just for testing. Make sure you toggle actor, this way the contact recognizes the floor as an object. We select player and change his bound to cylinder and radius to the minimum. We set the object to dynamic instead of static, this makes it possible for Bob to move, but he will not be able to turn yet. This way Bob will stand straight up and won't hit the ground with his adorable face. Next we create a ton of inputs under contact, 6 to be precise. The first one will be a near sensor, which we call C for contact. To sense the ground, we set distance to 0.01 and we set to 0.175. This is the sinus of the maximum incline you want to be able to climb, multiplied with half of the width of the body. Uh, we choose 45 degrees as our maximum angle. This gives square root 2 divided by 2 multiplied with 0 0.25, which gives 0 0.177 rounded. Also, um, toggle the three upper dots. For the next four inputs we choose keyboard type inputs and choose the movement keys W, A, S, D. If you want to use other keys you can, but your sensors will need to be called W, A, S and D. Make sure the three upper dots are toggled again, this way the positive signal will repeat. Under player we add a python controller and connect all inputs to the controller. We 
we call the used script walk and add a script called walk as well. Here I copied the script, but it will be in the download link in the description. In a later video I'll explain how I made the script, but for now just copy it. Now we will give Bob some eyes, so he can see. We add a camera, place it on the same place as the head, rotate it and parent it to Bob's head. A little hint here, to reset the red cursor to the grid, press Shift plus C. Just a little test to demonstrate Bob can walk now. I forgot to toggle actor on the body, but if you don't change it, uh, Bob will be able to walk in the air. I changed the contact to sensor and toggled detect actor, so now it will recognize actors. Something special about the script, you can't change it uh, direction midair, how it should be. Now back to Bob's eyes. We add a mouse sensor under player and call it mouse. We make it respond to movement, then we add a player controller under player and make a new text file called look. We fill in look also in the Python module. Again I copy the script and a download link will be in the description. Here I failed again, Bob can't look up and down yet. I forgot we need to add a property under head called tilt. This property has to be a float property and now it works. Yay! Yay. Hope this helped, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. For any questions just comment below or send me a personal message. And don't forget to mes mention me or my channel when you use uh, one of my scripts. More videos will follow soon.